Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Alexis here. And if the video seems a little shaky, um, that's because I'm doing it on my phone and I'm literally holding it. I feel like it's just better quality. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. So if it's shaky, I'm sorry. That's just what I got. <laughs> so in this video, I kind of wanted to just explain why the makeup I'm using right now isn't vegan. And I might get some crap for this, but let me explain. So basically, and a lot of, um, so basically I'm vegan for all three reasons. There's main, like three main elements to being vegan that um, a lot of people, you know, gravitate towards or that's the reason they become vegan. So these things are one, for the animals. People go vegan for the animals every day and stay vegan for animals every day. And the second one is health and the third is for environmental reasons. I, you know, wanted to be healthy before and that's actually how I stumbled upon veganism and I love animals so that fits right in and I've been an environmentalist for like ever so I, I'm vegan for all three reasons, really. And so the reason my makeup isn't vegan is because I found it to be very wasteful just to go through all my makeup that I had when I first went vegan last year and throw away all the stuff that wasn't cruelty-free. That just didn't seem to fit in with the whole environmental, you know, aspect of it. <clears throat> And kind of the way that I like justified it, I guess, is one, the animal has already been tested on. So it's not like you can reverse that. You can only prevent it going forward. So that's one reason why I didn't feel I should just throw everything out that had been tested on animals. The second reason is because you know, I already spent my money on it, so I can't get that money back. Most of the stuff was like halfway used or like pretty darn full um, when I had first gone vegan. And the third reason is because, what was I gonna say? Yeah, I mean, it's just wasteful. Like I literally had full things of makeup, like a almost a full foundation, like, a brand new mascara like I I feel like I always do this before I went vegan I feel like I probably splurged a little bit on makeup at some point like around the time that I went vegan or bought a few things just before I went vegan so I wasn't paying attention to whether or not it was tested on animals or whether it had animal products in it and I feel like I did the same thing with minimalism I <laughs> went out on like a huge shopping spree at the mall and just bought like a whole bunch of clothes or like redecorated my room and then I was like oh wow like now I want to get rid of all this stuff so it really seemed just super wasteful to me to just throw it out so <clears throat> that being said I don't think it's necessary to just throw things out if you're going vegan and you know it's been tested on animals or if it has some animal product in it. Um, also, what I did though was if I knew I wasn't gonna use it, I um, would give it to like my mom or my sister. Uh, I just, yeah, I, same with like minimalism. I would have a bunch of makeup or like I had a ton of perfumes and I was like okay well if I'm not gonna use it or if it's like still really full and I know I'm not gonna use it I might as well just give it to someone who you know will use it or donate it to like Goodwill or Value Village or something um but yeah I I think that's kind of I mean if you can just like give away all your makeup when you first go vegan and go buy all cruelty-free vegan makeup, like that's really great, but not everybody has the money to do that or has someone they can give all of their makeup to. So 
yeah, just, I would say just keep it in mind. Like, I don't think you're a bad person if you continue to use the makeup that you currently have. Even if it's not vegan, even if it's not cruelty-free when you first go vegan. But moving forward, anytime you buy something new, you should absolutely be doing your research and supporting companies and buying products that are vegan, that are cruelty-free because if you don't, like, that's kind of where I would have an issue with it is if someone was like, oh, I'm a vegan, and then they're like, uh, but I don't buy vegan makeup because personally, I think that one of the most selfish things we can do is to buy makeup that's tested on animals and that has animal products in them because we really like that's so pointless like I can kind of understand where people come from when they say that it's hard to stop eating animals because you know it's just that's the way they've been raised like that's how their culture is so it's it, it can be difficult to like move away from that so I understand that but I think if someone's to go vegan, the first, I mean, even if they're not vegan, the first thing people should do is stop wearing animals because one, you don't need to wear them. There's so many synthetic fibers out there that either look like fur or leather or suede and, you know, we can save so much suffering from happening and really it's just pointless to wear animals and to use them in makeup and cosmetics and different, you know, beauty things or like hygiene, you know, um, like shampoos and stuff like that. So even if you're not vegan, like I, I think it's just selfish to buy makeup that's tested on animals. I think it's selfish to wear animals or tote them around on your arm in the form of a handbag. Like, no matter the brand name, if it's another living being's skin, like, that's absolutely disgusting. Or if it's their fur, or, you know, even wool. And a lot of people are like, oh, well, wool, it doesn't, like, harm the animal, they're not being killed. But it's like, no, you know, a lot of wool sheep have been bred to produce, like, so much excess wool that they're extremely uncomfortable, especially in you know, warmer seasons, they have, you know, pounds and pounds of pounds of wool on their body and, you know, a lot of times they'll collapse or just become super dehydrated, like, it's not comfortable for them. So, I don't support any, any type of, you know, animal wearing, but if you're going vegan or if you just want to stop wearing, you know, makeup that's tested on animals or that has animal products in it. I don't think that you should have to throw all of those things away that you already own. The damage has been done. I would say just use it up and then just don't buy it again and really be conscious of that moving forward. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So my makeup that I'm wearing right now isn't vegan and I'm actually kind of in the process of like decluttering my makeup kind of or like getting rid of what I don't want or use so I have a bunch of stuff that you know there's plenty left that I've had for like years so I'm using that like I have a makeup bin it's like two totes basically one tote has the stuff that is my newer vegan you know products and cruelty free products and then the other bin has like my old stuff, which is the bin that I go to first so that I'm wearing it and, you know, getting rid of it so that I can be, you know, have fully vegan makeup and makeup brushes. So, yeah, I think if you want to stop using those products, I don't, you know, don't feel like you have to go and throw everything in the trash and don't feel like... I don't know, the vegan police are gonna come and get you because I think that's totally stupid. People experience veganism differently, people get into it differently. So, you know, I think as, you know, more people become vegan, we really need to stop like regulating it so hard. Like, as long as you're truly trying and you know how wrong it is to exploit animals, 
especially for like your own vanity and your own fucking fashion statement. Whoops. Um, like as long as you know, moving forward that you're not going to participate in that, like, you know, I think it's fine to still use products that you have. Get rid of any leather and fur and suede stuff that you have though, or like wool products. That was, you know, the first thing I did. I gave away my like Michael Kors handbags. Like I had so many of them, like, mm, yeah. So that was like one of the first things I did. Anything with wool in it, anything that was leather. I had a ton of leather shoes. I worked at a shoe store. So, you know, I, you just really have to detach yourself from it. And so that's kind of like where my minimalist lifestyle met my vegan lifestyle. Like, you know, when I became vegan, like that, those products and those, you know, clothing items that I had like no longer were of value to me so I got rid of them like I immediately detached myself from them and it was so much easier to get rid of them because before you know I had no reason to get rid of them I wasn't you know aware of the suffering that animals go through so I don't know I get rambly I repeat myself but it's whatever don't be afraid to go vegan People will give you shit for it, but what can you do? You know what you're doing is right. You know what you're doing is, you know, it, it can be challenging. So, yeah, you have to be ready for a bit of a challenge. You have to be ready for a bit of pushback from other people. But, you know, you do you, boo. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> All right. So, I got to go adopt my new little birdie here soon because my poor little Zaba passed away last Monday. So sad. I'm gonna miss the little guy. But we're getting a new fella. Tala. You know what I'm saying? Ooh. He's a cutie. But yeah. Also, I think I'm I'm totally against breeding animals and buying animals. I think everyone should adopt animals. That's why I adopt mine. But I've kind of been struggling with the bird situation because a lot of birds do better with at least one other bird and some are um, more flock species. So I'm kind of struggling with, you know, do I wait until another bird needs to be adopted or is it ethical to buy a second bird so that the bird I adopted isn't lonely? Hmm. Any vegans out there and any people who are against animal breeding and purchasing, maybe um, let me know what you think about that because uh, I've just been struggling with it. But yeah, so I'm going to go get ready to go. And I hope you guys all have a good day. That's the bird cage that you hear rattling in the back. But, yeah, have a good day, everybody. It snowed today, and I'm so mad. <laughs> it needs to be sunny. Well, peace out, guys. Go vegan. Get your vegan makeup on eventually. I'll see you later. <clears throat> Don't forget, comment, like, subscribe, share with your friends and family. See you guys later.